Hey guys, it's Shirley, and I know it's been forever and a day, but I'm here to kind of give you some life updates and tell you a little story. So, life update number one, I've gone light again, I've gone ombre, and loving it for the summertime. I'm probably going to keep this for quite a while. I just want to make my hair healthy again. Obviously, I bleached it. It needs to recover for a little bit but I've been gone for a little while been focusing on work social life and kind of just getting things situated because a lot's happened in the last few weeks where it's like I kind of just had to get my shit together so one thing that happened actually like literally yesterday was I have poison ivy now so that's fun I even had to buy hydrocortisone with aloe because it fucking itches. But if you itch it, then that oil that's coming from the poison ivy infection is going to spread and then I'm going to be a hot mess. Like, this eye already burns because little did I know, I thought it was a mosquito bite. No. No. So I was itching it all day and did my makeup, had my fingers on my face and doing my eye like mascara and all that stuff, had my eyes near my, like fingers near my eyes and right now I'm just kind of freaking out that I'm going to wake up with like puffy eye, puffy face, like blotchy, I don't know. That's why I decided to do the video now. I feel like I have a little bit more motivation to actually talk to you guys and like update a little bit before I look like a fucking train wreck. And I'm sorry for the language. I know I need to work on that because I've even been called out by YouTube that I need to stop with a potty mouth if I want to monetize any of my videos. So I'm trying. <laughs> but story time is I got a botched boob job and when I say boob job, I don't mean I was getting, like, these implants. Like, these are real. Like, 100%. But if you've seen one of my older videos, which I'll link down below, with me saying I fainted in the hospital, had to do with something very, had to do with the same thing, basically. So, long story short, after that video and you've caught up and know what I'm talking about, after that surgery, um, I was supposed to have probably three months of hard scar tissue that was noticeable. The bruising was supposed to go away after a month or two. It's supposed to be fully healed within six months. That's when my follow-up is supposed to be and make sure everything's good, clean, and not infected and nothing like that. But... That was back in April. We are now at the end of August. We're close to it. And I still have bruising. I still have hard tissue. It's still hard where it's not supposed to be. There's a bruise around my areola, like TMI, but that's not what was supposed to happen. So, yeah. That's pretty much what's been going on. It's just the fact that that surgery happened, I'm told it was only supposed to be, what, a couple months of bruising, just three or four months of scar tissue, but it's been a while. Like, I don't understand why it, oh, I'm touching my face again. I'm going to be a wreck tomorrow. <laughs> like, I'm going to have poison ivy everywhere. Right now, it's only on my foot, and I was scratching like hell, so I don't know if it's going to like spread on my arms or what, but I'm hoping I don't. So now that we got all of that out of the way, um, you now know why I have a botched boob job and why I'm freaking out inside. You know my current dilemma of having poison ivy and I keep touching my face. <laughs> like, I'm a person who talks with their hands, and I touch my face a lot, I touch my arms, I touch, like, I can't. <laughs> like, I just do it all the time, and that's going to be the worst. Like, I already feel itchy, like, right here, and I know I should not itch it, but I'm the worst person for that. Like, mosquito bites triple in size overnight, because I can't stop scratching. 
So I might even just wear mittens when I go to sleep. It might be stupid as hell, but I can't afford all of this to go all over my body. Oh, and the whole reason I even have um, poison ivy was because I went to a party last night and I knew there was poison ivy somewhere in that backyard because my friend has poison ivy. But the way she explained it, it sounded like it was in the far corner of her um, backyard. And we we're all there. Like, I, there was plenty of people there. And I felt like, oh, it's nowhere near me. But you have to go through this pathway to get to the other side of her house. So we went around and it had to be in there because that was the only place I went that had longer than just, like, this much grass. So, I don't know. My luck. Tyler was with me and went through the same damn path I did. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> like, you don't understand how mad I get at the fact that, like, I'm the one who always gets the shit and the stick in our relationship. I'm the one that ends up sick when we both do the same exact thing. I'm the one who gets, like, hurt or has an infection and, like, seriously, seriously. I don't know. It might be the fact that he has a much better immune system than I do, which that's 100% accurate, but poison ivy, <laughs> like, that should be an everybody kind of thing. No, just me. So, I don't know. I do miss you guys, though. I miss making content for you and all that stuff. So I wanted to give you kind of an update of what the f potty mouth. Gee, <sighs> mm. I didn't realize how hard it is not to swear. I might actually make a swear jar and let you guys know how the hell that was going on. Um, or how that works out. Because I need to work on that. Like I was saying, I miss you guys. And I kind of want to know a little bit more feedback with you guys. What kind of videos do you want me to do? Because I know you guys see my Fang video. It's the most popular video on my whole entire YouTube channel. And I love those fangs, do not get me wrong at all. Hobby FX made a beautiful pair of fangs, and if you want to see what they look like, I'll also tag that down below so you can go see that video. They are so well crafted, but my mouth, I have an overbite. I've had an overbite my whole entire life. Most people do have overbites rather than underbites, but mine's pretty damn severe. Like, yeah. They cover like more than half of my bottom teeth. So, that being said, a prosthetic that goes on, well, not really prosthetic, but a um, novelty teeth that goes on top of your own teeth and just sits perfectly in your crevices because it's form fit to your own, like, smile. It's now even more protruding than my own teeth, and my own teeth protrude a, a hell of a lot. I was going to use the F word again, and I need to stop, <laughs> but I don't know. I want to make more videos, me using him, and just, I don't know. I feel like it makes me have a lisp because they are big for me, because I already have limited room, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm just going to order another pair and just have the little baby ones in the front and see maybe it won't be as dominant on my face since I already have a protruding um, overbite. But absolute no shade to Hobby FX because that is my mouth's problem and it's still badass. I just let me know. Like, I want to know if you want to see more um, fashion related, more hair related, more makeup related, anything. More pet gear, more um, BDSM related. I want to know your feedback. And who knows, maybe I'll do a uh, Q and A. I can never say that the first time, but I've wanted to do a Q&A before. I've gotten a decent amount of responses, but not enough for a full video worth, where it's like, either I just answer you guys directly, and I forget, wait, I could use this in a video, but then I realize I'm not going to really make a video very soon, so, uh, but now I want to get back on track and stop being lazy. <laughs> Because that's what it comes down to, honestly. Like, me, yes, I'm busy. Yes, I have a job. 
uh, social life, my cats, like I have shit I gotta do, but I still have some spare time that I could be doing this and I want to do it again. So let me know what you want to see because I'm all ears. <laughs> like, I want to know. Yeah, long story short, I missed you guys. Glad to be back. Love you. Mwah. So. Ooh, I'm going to put gloves on. <laughs>